Rate the definite integral from 0 to pi over 2 cosine squared of theta d theta. All right, so we may be tempted to think, aha, well, cosine squared is just 1 minus sine squared. And I would replace that, and then I'd be left with asking, what's the antiderivative of sine squared? Instead of where we are now, asking what's the antiderivative of cosine squared. All right, and notice there's also not, I don't have both functions laying around. So I can't play the game of, um, you know, using a substitution. However, there is an identity for cosine squared that is useful, and that is the half angle identity. That cosine squared of theta is equal to 1 plus cosine 2 theta. Now, if I write my definite integral using this identity, I'll be in business. So this is the definite integral from 0 to pi over 2, 1 half times 1 plus cosine 2 theta. Well, this one half can come out, and I'm left with the definite integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 plus cosine of 2 theta. All right, so now time's to think of, time to think of some antiderivatives. Antiderivative of 1 with respect to theta is theta. Antiderivative of cosine of 2 theta is 1 half sine of 2 theta. Okay, and we're going to evaluate this expression at the endpoints, 0 to pi over 2. All right, now if you want to check this last antiderivative I did, derivative of sine is cosine, derivative of the inside function is 2. That will cancel, and we'll be left with just cosine of 2 theta. All right, so now let's plug in our endpoints. At 1 half times, I plug in pi over 2, I have pi over 2 plus 1 half sine of, now, it's 2 theta. So pi over 2 plugged in there is sine of pi. And then plugging in 0, I have 0 plus 1 half sine of 0. So this is 1 half times, well sine of pi is 0, and sine of 0 is 0. So all I 